What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about okra. I like okra. Um, I know these videos on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram have been very like dramatic, but I also like very green things. So I might be a little biased, but in today's video, I am going to show you how I use okra in five different ways. If you are like me, you aren't picky as far as textures or taste, or you have a very green palette, there's gonna be some options for you. If you're somebody who does not like certain textures, do not like green things, or you're somebody who is just nowhere near the ideal place in your health journey, this video, there's gonna be some things for you. Um, I made this in hopes that I'm meeting people where they are in their pregnancy and in their health journey rather than telling them it's an all or nothing type of thing. So let's go ahead and get into five different ways that you can use okra in hopes to have a beautiful, easy, fast, beautiful birthing process, making you and your baby have a safe, enjoyable experience and making sure your yoni is doing all of the things so that you can be right back at it after birth. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and to the five different ways I've used okra throughout my current pregnancy. Okay, first we're just gonna get into okra water. Okra water is a big thing, I think, now on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and things like that. But if you have a West African Caribbean midwife or family, you've heard of this. It's nothing new to you. So the way I make my okra water is very simple. I just chop up my okra really, really small into like nickel sized pieces. I feel like chopping it up in these smaller pieces is better because you're able to extract more of the gel, more of the juice, more of the nutrients. I personally will leave my okra in the water for like two days, three days, depending on when I get my okra. I get my okra primarily from the farmer's market, fresh and organic, and I try to make my okra water immediately the same day. Okra itself doesn't last too long in the fridge, so you have to be very careful about leaving it in the water, but if you have done this in your experience and it smells good, then you're good. So the okra water after two days is significantly more slimy um, I just leave it in the jar and it doesn't come out of the spout and I drink anywhere from like 8 to 16 ounces of pure okra water in the rising and get my day started. I do feel like it definitely does increase your energy. So the next item is a making okra lemonade. personally love lemonade, but I am also experiencing a summer pregnancy, so there's just lemonade for everything. There's gonna be lemonade all throughout these pregnancy videos because I love it, it's in season, and it's easy to make at home, and it's great to give your kids a fresh lemonade alternative where you know exactly what is being put into it. To make the okra lemonade, you use the okra water. Now, when you pour it out, it looks super, super slimy and thick, but after you blend it, it turns into like a frothy, thinner, it's not a thick, like a smoothie or a puree, but it's not thin like water. But if you take the okra, add your fruit of choice and blend it all together and you pour it, it's gonna turn into a frothy consistency and it's amazing. I use lemons, okra water that I have left for one to two nights and then some organic agave that I get from Costco and add one to two to three tablespoons depending on how many I'm making because this is something that the whole house likes to drink as well. And I personally don't need too much agave, but once again, this video is to encourage people who are in different parts of their health journey, in different parts of their awareness as far as their health goes. If you need a little bit more sugar, instead of using a white sugar, use an agave um, and make the small changes and incorporate them with things that are gonna be beneficial for you and your baby to make sure that you're balanced, you can stay consistent and you can also um, drink things daily that are in your fridge and ready and accessible that are benefiting you and your baby. The next thing are popsicles. 
I have been making so many popsicles this summer. And same thing, same concept. You use the ochre water that has been sitting in the fridge for one to two to three days. Use whatever fruit you have on hand. I've been using like passion fruit, peach. You can do mint, you can do basil. Basil is great for breastfeeding, so you can get those type of herbs in your system while you're pregnant. And lemon juice and agave, just different concoctions and different types of ways this is great in the summertime because when you're super, super um, hot outside and you need to be hydrated, you're eating something that's packed with nutrients and vitamins that are gonna be beneficial for you. It's super low on sugar that can be controlled by you and you know exactly what you're putting in it. And it has okra, which is gonna help with your birthing process. The next item is okra smoothie. So when I'm done pouring out all of my okra water throughout the week or throughout the first two or three days, depending on how fast I finish it, there will be remaining okra pieces left over. I personally try not to waste anything. So what I do is I gather the remainder of the okra. I'll put it into a Ninja blender and put anything that I have on hand. This is fresh okra, frozen mango, lemon juice. I put lemon in everything, so I'm very, very biased. Vitamin C, which is in lemons, helps with iron absorption. And because I don't eat meat and I have like lots of green powders and things like that, it can help basically make my body absorb the iron. So we have mango, passion fruit, and okra and lemon juice, and it is so good and tart and the passion fruit is just amazing. Okra does have a prominent taste, so I think lemon balances out everything. I also love citrus. I do anything from whatever fruit I have on hand and add some lemon, blend it thoroughly and add a lot of liquid so that it is a thinner consistency because the okra does make it quite thick. I keep looking over here because, oh, we're, we're, we're ready to go too. We are round and big, but this is frozen okra. I got this from Whole Foods actually. One thing that I wanna say is, I think sometimes with these videos or even with health in general, sometimes people make it seem like it's an all or nothing type of thing. Like if you're not eating the freshest okra that's organic, then it's not gonna work, which I am a firm believer in organic fresh okra. However, okra is not accessible to everybody and organic produce is not accessible to everybody. So if your option is frozen okra, although it's not as nutrient dense as fresh okra or farmer's market okra, don't beat yourself up if that's what's accessible to you. Do the things that are good for you, your financial means, and also just your geography of where you are and what you actually have access to. My hope for this video is to basically show different ways that you can have okra that's not just okra water because okra water is not gonna work for everybody because of the consistency or the taste. So if you have to add a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of agave to make it like a lemonade, do that. If you have to make it into a popsicle, do that. If you have to make it into a smoothie, do that, but do what works. Make your pregnancy hacks, your health hacks, enjoyable. And then last but not least, we have juicing okra. Juicing okra was very interesting because it got really, really slimy and thick in the juicer. I honestly, this wasn't something that I did very consistently, but for the sake of the video and then also just to differentiate the way that you can use okra, um, I wanted to see how it turned out and it actually turned out really good. One of the things that I will say is after I juiced it, I did have to blend it so that it had a more um, appealing consistency for everybody in the house to enjoy. But using some fruits and vegetables that you have on hand, juicing the okra, and then blending it really quickly in a ninja blender in large quantities to keep in 64 ounce, 84 ounce jugs in the fridge made it super easy for me to stay consistent with having nutrient dense foods that are beneficial for me, baby, and the birthing process.
All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any suggestions on ways you like to use okra or your family recipes or what your um, midwife has said about using okra, put them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload. Bye.